In Wizards and Warriors, you've got to work your way through a complicated world. Spend time finding keys, which get you inventory and let you get the gems to buy your way out. Make sure you make a map and keep good notes. The secret to winning the game is finding the keys in each level. Each key opens a chest and a door of the same color. But once you have the keys, you can open the treasure chest, which contain the weapons and gems you need to win. To get out of the first section of the game, you'll need a hundred gems. You can capture individual gems, and you can also find entire treasure chests full of them. Here's a chest filled with 21 gems. When you find a turkey drumstick, grab it. It'll give you extra life, which means more points, cause you die less. Once you get the dagger of throw, throw it at the acorns. They'll magically change, and then you can grab them. Remember, the gray doors don't require a key. If you can, try to find the boots of force. They will allow you to open any chest you don't have a key for. <laughs> Very powerful. Don't try to get past the evil knight without the gems you need. He'll waste your time. Keep your eyes open for the magic potions. Each one only lasts for a few seconds, but gives you extra power. The blue potions make you fast, the red make you invincible, and the pink let you jump higher. Watch for the shield of protection. You won't be able to get past the evil guardians without it. The cuckoo clocks don't help very much. They make everyone freeze for a few seconds. At the end of each level, you'll get extra points as you rescue the damsel. In the second level, it is essential that you find the Lava Walk Boots. Even though you have to give up the Boots of Force, you'll need the Lava Walk Boots for level 3. If you're careful, you'll be able to find places where you can rack up points and gems by jumping up and down. Keep your eyes peeled for the Potion of Levitation. Like the Shield of Protection, you'll have it for the entire game, and you'll need it to win. To get past this guy, you'll need to levitate. First spear each bat in the air, then run to the far side, levitate, and fight him with the dagger. The white dot on the map shows you where you are. The red dot gives you your destination. Here's where you need those boots. After you walk along the bottom, ride a bubble to get up. What you need at this level is the pink key. The only way you'll get high enough to reach some spots is to levitate, then jump. The red key is tough to get, but you'll need it to get the Battle Axe of Agar. Without the Battle Axe, you'll have trouble getting the next two levels. Here's the Staff of Power. We'll lose the Lava Boots, but we won't be needing them anymore. The Battle Axe is crucial for beating the monster.
This level is tough. Here's where you'll find the red key. And here's the blue key. You'll also be able to get the Wand of Wonder. And very important, here's the Cloak of Darkness. Here's how it works. Turn the blue door to find the elusive pink key. To fight the ghost, use your cloak of darkness to become invisible. Even ghosts can't see you. Here's where you'll find the blue key. This is a very important chest. It holds the feather fall, which you'll need to win the game. It makes you fall very gently. Here's the red key. This guy isn't so hard to beat if you know what to do. Hit him, run to the other side, and hit him again. Keep going until you've vanquished him. This is the best part of the game. The eyes stay where they are, but the other posts move in and out. As you move up, go all the way to the right. Then levitate to get to the top. Go all the way to the left now, and use all of your timing to get to the very top. This is the gutsy part. Go to the left spire and jump. You'll float down to the secret entrance. Be careful, the acid can kill you. Now that you're in the palace, find the red key. Get out of this level. Go out and jump down to the ground floor. the little guy, jump over him, hit him, then jump over him again. Levitate to pick up all your points. Finally, get the other red key. Scrap around until you have enough gems. Now it is you against the wizard. If you stand right here, he can't hit you from both sides, and you're sure to win.